Hello. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about some performance optimization in Unreal Engine 4 when it comes to masking. Let's say you have a 4K texture like this, and it has three lights, and these three lights will all have a separate color. I mean, if even if it's one color, then you need a 4K mask texture like this, and all the black space is just waste. And since the texture is between 48 and um, 96 megabytes, that's quite a lot of useless space. And if you want those lights to be separate with different light colors and that kind of stuff, then you need three separate of those masks like this. And even if you combine them in one RGB channel texture, that's still a lot of useless space. So I'm going to show you something. Uh, Unreal a long time ago provided an extension called the Crop E Assist. And I'm going to utilize this alongside with a really cool node called the Texture Cropping node. Now I made one myself which is actually easier to use and I'm going to definitely explain that one because I like to use easier stuff. And let's get started. Now. As you already noticed, I also have this mask in three different layers, and those are the ones I'm going to use. I'm going to delete the one with the three lights because I won't be needing that. Now let's start the crop e assist. I'll put a link in the description below, and uh, it's going to be one that I edited so that it works on layer versions of Photoshop as well. Epic made the original one, I just edited it, so all credits go to Epic for that. First I'm gonna select these three lights here, because they will be identical. I'm gonna keep it as square as possible. I can always move this around a bit. There we go. And now I'm gonna get the crop miss if I press it. I want it to be a fairly small size, so let's do 256 by 256. I'm going to press OK. And I need to save it. I'm going to make a new folder on my desktop for now. Call it uh, crop. I'm going to save as a PNG. Uh, where is it? There we are. And call it uh, crop1 for now. I'm going to save it. OK. Uh, now I need also need a text document because sadly you cannot copy and paste. So there we go. I'm gonna make it a bit smaller and uh, say crop one on the, the upper left. It's gonna be 0.462 uh, and these values you'll need to put into the material function here. And it will allow you to crop out that specific part of the texture. And you'll see what I mean in minutes. Or a few. Okay, back to the text document. Uh, the upper left was that. Uh, upper left, left X. And this is going to be upper left Y. And 0.432. And then we have the lower right X. And that's going to be 0.54 and lower right y. And that's going to be 0.51. And I'm also going to make those for crop 2 and crop 3. And copy and paste these values. And there. And just remove these for now. That's one texture down, let's go to the next one, which is over there. I don't need the same size for every one of them, because I'm going to save them as a different size. To be really sure that I get everything, I'm just going to go there, and there. What am I doing? I could just do this. That's easier. Ha. Okay. I'm going to crop this one as well. Same size. Okay. And I'm going to save it as a 
PNG and call it crop2. I'm going to save it. Okay, and I'm going to get some new values. And again, I need to put these in. 0 0.772, 0 0.614, uh, 0 0.819, and 0. 659 okay okay now this one is done let's get the last one over here and even though it's quite wide it doesn't really matter because the crop emissive will get the correct values and it's just a simple square so even if I stretch it a little bit it should be fine so I'm gonna get the crop emissive again I'm gonna save it as 512 uh, should be 256, it should be fine, okay. Uh, I'm gonna save another PNG. I hope it works. I never actually tried it with uh, stretching before, but it should be fine. And save this one as well, okay. And we have some more values. So that's gonna be 0 0.051, 0 0.289, 0 0.6, 0.211 and 0.338 I'm going to save these for now and put them to the side ok next part um, ok let's open these up and close my real engine for a second and go to crop here Let's open them. There. Now I'm going to make a new file, and it's going to be the same size as the crops we outputted. I'm going to make it black, and I'm going to get the first one. I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to paste it in the red channel. So I can use each of these layers inside of the image separately. Well, the, the next two are quite simple because they're both just white. I can just fill these with white. And that's it. I'm going to save this one as the permanent one. PNG, but uh, TGA should do as well. I just like to work in PNG. And uh, got a texture, crop, light. Final. I save it. Okay, and that's that in Photoshop. And let's see. Oh, I actually need to save the wall here as well. I forgot to do that. No pixels were selected. I know. I'm gonna save this one in the same folder. PNG texture wall with a light example save ok and uh, now let's go to Unreal Engine I'm going to open the content browser and since I already have some stuff here I'm going to make a new folder real quick called example I'm going to drag and drop these two textures in there we go. Since it's a 4K texture, it might take a few seconds. There we go. Okay. I'm going to double check the settings. SRGP should be fine. Okay, that seems all to be correct. And this should be fine as well. Since it's the mask layer, we don't need sRGB, so we're going to turn that off. Save it. And call it done. Okay. I'm going to put down the texture. I already have a texture sample here, but in case you don't want to know, if you hold down T and press the left mouse button, you get the less selected texture from your content browser like this and I'm gonna 
put the copy of these in here. The output of that into the mask. There we go. Basically, um, this is the normal one, the normal texture cropper, and it needs a bit different workflow. Uh, you need to put uh, a uh, texture object into it and some additional stuff, but I found that this works just as well and a bit less hassle. So I'm going to use the new one. I'm going to put, I'm going to upload it and give an additional link in the description below. So I'm going to move that on, and there we go. The crop UV should go, as it says, plug into your texture sample UV and just put it in here. The crop mask should be multiplied and this mask parameter just tells me which channel I want to use. So in this case let's start with the first one and that's the red channel. And that's the crop 1. So I need to have these values over here. And let me make this a bit smaller over here. And decrease this size as well so we can see. There we go. Okay, the first value is the upper left. And that's going to be 0. Point. I can actually copy and paste that. That's actually a bit faster probably. So that's 1. That's 2. And then the second one. Actually, the third one. And fourth one. There. Now if I start previewing this node, as you can see, only there the light is added. Now let me place down the oh, pardon the wall texture in here as well, so you can see what's going on. Make it a bit bigger for now. There. And now I'm going to multiply this for a second and put this into the emissive color and up the value. There. As you can see now only that small texture, the 256 by 256 texture is perfectly placed onto the 4K texture and now I have full control over that small part of the texture. I'm going to make it a little bit less bright because that's a bit over the top but I could also additionally multiply this with a nice color. So let's say we want to make it red. There we go. Okay. There you have it. Okay, now for the second two. Uh, let me clean it up a little bit. So I can easy copy and paste. I'm going to copy this two more times. There. Disconnect this for a second. And I'm going to add those together. Basically what adding does is literally just adding the texture. Not of, nothing of the values will be changed unless they are overlapping. So if it's 0.5 and 0.5, they get added, it's 1. And now I need the other values and different layers. So the second crop is the green channel. So I'm going to enable green for that one. And for the blue channel, I'm going to enable the blue. And more values to put in. Let's start here. 0 0.72, 0 0.614, no. 0 0.1819 uh, there, 0 0.659 here. Let's do the last one as well. 89, 0 0.211, and 0 0.338. There. And let's just 
combine them with the multiply for a second and as you can see only those three spots are now lit the cool thing about this is that if I want to I can give each of them a different color or even more additional stuff like banners or whatever oh and then those instead I'm doing something slightly wrong forgive me there make it a bit more clean let's say this one is blue there and this one is green we now have this I'm gonna pass along this example as well for easier easy use. And that's it. And as you can see, this texture uh, example there is only 43 kilobytes. Now imagine having these layers separately as a 4K texture. I'm gonna just do it for funsies. I'm uh, going to have a new one. Okay, I'm going to make it black. I'm just going to copy all these layers. That's one. That's two, and the last one makes three. There, I'm gonna save this, save as, also in the crop, PNG, unoptimized. I'm gonna save it, okay, and let's import that one as well. This again will take a little. Oh, that's actually quite fast. Resource size 30 kilobyte. Yeah, sure. There we go. Resource size is 10 megabytes. Compared to this one, that's only 43 kilobytes. That's a lot of difference, isn't it? I hope you learned something from this tutorial and yeah, that's it. Take care.